Hey everybody, EBA420 here, and I thought I would do an updated video on WinSCP and OpenSSH since my last one is almost a year old now. And in this video I'll be using an iPod Touch 2G, but it's all the same if you have an iPhone. And the first thing you should do if you haven't already is download and install WinSCP from the link provided in the description. And all the default settings are fine. Now let's move on to the iPod portion. First locate City on your device and open it. Select Featured Packages, then Mobile Terminal. Choose to install it, then Confirm, and return to Cydia and select Open SSH from the Featured Packages. Choose to install it, and then Confirm, and then return to Cydia and back to your home screen and select Terminal. Enter SU root as shown and press Return. The default password is Alpine, and don't worry, you're not meant to see password characters as they're typed. Type the password and press return. Now type the command PASSWD and press return. Now create a new password and don't forget it. This will replace the default password of Alpine, a good idea to prevent your neighbors from gaining access to your file system. Press return and it will ask you to verify the new password. Do so and then press return. We have now successfully changed the root password, which is the Windows equivalent of the administrator. And the device also has a user account called mobile. We will change that password now by typing PASSWD mobile as shown and then press return. Change the password just like before and verify it. Use the same password you created for root. Once that's all done, hold your finger down in the terminal window and a box will appear as shown. Choose the exit button and the kill all terminal text will be displayed in the window. Press return and the terminal will close. Now go to settings. Select Wi-Fi, choose your wireless network, and find your IP address. You will need this number for WinSCP. That's it for the iPod portion, and now let's go back to the desktop. Open up WinSCP, type the IP address you obtained from your iPod into the host name field, and your username will be root, and use the password you just created in terminal, and then click login. Please note your iPod must be awake and the first time you connect you may get this pop-up that's shown. Simply click yes and you are now browsing the file system. Your PC appears on the left and your iPod on the right. If you back up one directory you'll notice a folder called mobile. That's the user folder for your device where things such as your photos uh, etc are stored. And so that's all there is to it. This should get you started in what is a very useful tool for your iPod. And thank you as always and enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.